A piece of granite rock has a mass of 15.5 grams and a volume of 6.01 cubic centimeters. What is its density? So density is defined as mass divided by volume. In this problem, I have a mass in grams and I have a volume in cubic centimeters. So all I gotta do is take this mass, 15.5 grams, and divide it here by the volume which is 6.01 centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. And that gives me 2.57903. What do I round this to? Well, I have three significant figures in the top, three significant figures in the bottom, so I'm gonna keep this, keep this, and keep this, and look to the nine to see whether I keep the seven the same, or if I round up. It's higher than five, so I'll round up and I'll get 2.58 for my rounded answer. Now what are the units here? What are the units for density? In this division problem here, I haven't canceled out any units. I have my grams and my cubic centimeters and nothing's happened to them. They're still both there. So that means that you, the units of my answer have to have both these in them. So I'll report this as grams divided by cubic centimeters just like this. And this is my final answer for the density of the rock. Let's do another one. Gold has a density of 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. That's really high. Gold is very heavy. If you have a gold bar with a volume of 44.9 cubic centimeters, what is its mass? Okay, so in this example, all we have is a volume and we have to take the density to figure out what the mass is going to be. So let's start out with this volume here, okay? 44.9 cubic centimeters. Now, how are we going to get from cubic centimeters to grams, which is the mass? I like to think of density here as a conversion factor that lets me move between mass, like how much something weighs, and lets me convert between that and volume how much space something takes up. So the density here, I can write this as a conversion factor. I can kind of expand this grams per cubic centimeter like this, okay? It's like 19.3 grams is the top, and then we have the slash here, and on the bottom I have one cubic centimeter, right? I have the cm cubed, but if there is no number in front of it, it can always be one. Okay, so I can take this number here, the density, and I can turn it into a conversion factor, kind of pulling this cubic centimeters down and putting it on the bottom of the fraction, putting a one in front of it. As you know, anything that you can write as a conversion factor, you can also flip. So I could write density like this, or I could flip it and put one cubic centimeter on the top and put 19.3 grams on the bottom. Either way, this conversion factor lets me go between mass and volume. The question is, which of these do I want to use? I want to use the conversion factor that's going to let me cancel out the units of cubic centimeters and will leave me with units in grams, which is mass. So what I'm going to want to choose is the conversion factor here that has centimeters cubed on the bottom so that it will cancel out and has grams on the top. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to write it in here and you'll see why. 19.3 grams up here on the top. One cubic centimeter on the bottom. And now I have cubic centimeters up here and I have cubic centimeters down here and I'm left with grams as my unit, okay? So I chose the right version of the conversion factor. Okay, now I'm going to do 44.9 times 19.3 and I'm going to get 866.57. Three sig figs here, three sig figs here, and we have one, which is a counting number. It's a definite number, so we don't worry about the significant figures here. So I'm gonna round this number to three significant figures. I'm gonna keep the eight, six, look there to five, so that six is gonna go up. It's gonna be eight, six, seven, and what are my units? Units right here, units are in grams. 867 grams is how much this piece of gold would weigh. One more, isopropyl alcohol 
is a liquid with a density of 0.785 grams per cubic centimeter. How much volume would be taken up by 50.0 grams of isopropyl alcohol? So here is our definition of density. And in this problem, I get a density, I get this, and I get a mass in grams. I'm going to have to use the density to figure out what the volume is. So I'll start with 50.0 grams. And as I said, I have to go between mass and volume. So I can use the density as a conversion factor to do that. So let's write the density as a conversion factor. As I showed in the previous example, we're going to take this centimeters cubed, we're going to grab it, and we're going to pull it under the fraction. So we're going to get one conversion factor that looks like this, 0.785 grams divided by shoop, one centimeter cubed. That is one of the conversion factors. The other valid conversion factor is to take this and flip it. So I'll do one cubic centimeter divided by 0.785 grams. Which of these do I want to use? I want to use the one that's going to cancel out grams from here and leave me with cubic centimeters. So since grams is going to be on the top here, I want to choose the version that has grams on the bottom. So it's going to be this version of the conversion factor that I'm going to use. So 50.0 grams times this 1 centimeter cubed divided by 0.785 grams. Grams up here, grams down there, so they cancel out. So I know that I use the right conversion factor. I'm going to be left with centimeters cubed. And the math that I'll do is 50.0 times 1. The answer to that, I mean, that's just going to be 50. But so I do 50 times 1 divided by 0 0.785. And I get 63.6943. Three sig figs here, three sig figs here. This is a counting number, so it doesn't matter. So rounding the answer to one, two, three significant figures, look to the nine, the, set, the six goes up to seven, so I get 63.7, the units are cubic centimeters. Now, isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, is a liquid. And so for volume of liquid, we often measure it in milliliters instead of cubic centimeters. Now, millimeter, milliliters, and cubic centimeters are the same thing. It's just that we often use cubic centimeters to talk about the volume of like a solid object, and we often use milliliters to talk about the volume of a liquid. So if we wanted to be super picky, we might choose to say that the volume of isopropyl alcohol, because it's a liquid, is 63.7 ml, milliliters. And also, because isopropyl alcohol is a liquid, if we wanted to be super, super picky, we could say that it had a density of 0.785 grams per milliliter. But it's the same thing. Remember that one cubic centimeter equals one milliliter. And you know, if your teacher is really picky or something and you're talking about liquid, you might want to use milliliters instead of cubic centimeters, but it's the exact same thing. Thing. Anyway, that finishes our introduction to density. In the next video, we're going to look at more difficult problems where we've got to do unit conversions, where we've got to figure out what the volume of something is by measuring it or by dunking it into a graduated cylinder and watching how much the water rises. And finally, we'll look at problems where we have to identify an unknown metal, figure out what kind of metal it is by measuring its density. So that's all in the next video on density problems.